Hey there Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is the Red Lotus Elixir Tarot and all the other stuff I can put in the title that I like to do from time to time. Happy Turkey Day. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by. Nice to have you. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you come back again. Alrighty, um, and so today I am doing a love reading, a general love reading. Um, but before I get started on the love reading, I would like to do an energy check for you, just to make sure that we are connecting. Um, and so, I'm gonna shuffle these cards. to connect with you guys okay so give me a moment okay spirit connecting with all my lovely virgo viewers sidereal tropical sun moon and rising tell me all about the past love life what happened in your love life or the romantic life in the past thank you and please. Okay. Oh, two came out. All right, I'm gonna take it. Oh, two sevens. It's a very, very lonely and spiritual number. Okay. So let's see what this is exactly. And of course, to clarify, I have my handy dandy beat up writer deck. Yes, it's beat up, but it's my favorite because it has uh, memories. <laughs> memories embedded in the cards for me. Okay. All right, so let's see. We've got the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Hmm, Mars and Leo, Saturn and Taurus. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, so I was just quiet because I was listening, okay? I feel the energy of being a little guarded um, and sometimes commitment no commitment, that kind of energy there, but let me clarify. All right, so the romantic energy. Yeah, so in the past, someone did enter your life, someone who you felt was... Um, almost like the one. It felt like you had this spiritual soulmate kind of connection and they came rushing in. Um, it, it's almost like you met them in a way where they were defending you or they came to your defense. Um, you could have met literally at a rally or in some, some kind of protest or, yeah, something about activism, okay? Just because of the way the girl is sitting there with the candles around her and the police in the back of her, and then I see the Knight of Swords, um, it just looks like a debate, fight, protest, something like that. So you guys could have met under those kinds of conditions, um, and that's a little stressful. However, this person was like your knight in shining armor, as is, you know, typical of the Knight of Swords. Um, and I feel like you felt very connected to this person. Or you could have just met in a space where you had a lot in common and where like-minded people meet. And um, yeah, you felt the communication was good, the, the, the romance, the sex, everything was good. Um, it just felt like a soul connection, okay? Um, and I feel that you wanted the connection to keep going. You wanted it to continue but it was almost like as time went on you found out that maybe this person wasn't what you thought or what you expected of them uh, or they didn't perform in the way you thought um you started feel, finding out that maybe how can i say it was like yeah they just weren't who you thought they were they weren't really as good at the things that you thought they were supposed to be good at be good at, um, inept is the only word I can think of. They just didn't perform in the way that you thought 
they should or in the relationship itself. And so that led to a bit of disappointment because I feel like it took a lot of bravery for you to even get involved in that relationship. Um, where maybe before you felt like you were never going to find anyone and you never were going to do this and you were probably going to die alone, an old person, like the Seven of Pentacles here, this old woman is on the card with her dog. You probably felt like, you know what, I'm never going to find anyone. It's never going to work out for me. I've kind of given up. You know, I don't see it anymore. Um, I'm getting older. It's just not working out. You know, you probably had thoughts like that in your head and you were disappointed, um, but even with all of that and meeting this person, I think you still ended up disappointed and disillusioned um, about the relationship, I feel. It, I don't know where, why I'm feeling like it's foundered on lies. Something about it wasn't honest um, or there's something about it that you didn't see or something about the person you didn't quite notice. Maybe until later, there was some, a little bit of deceptive energy or you know, we say love is blind, perhaps not being able to see the person's flaws initially until maybe later. That's that's kind of what I'm feeling, okay? Um, but let me clarify and, <laughs> and see if I'm on the... It's just a little bit of yeah despondency like um in the past you just didn't feel like you were ever going to meet the right person ever um and for some of you this could also just be a vision or a fantasy that you've had about someone coming in and sweeping you off your feet as well okay um this may as well not have been anyone at all but just having the vision of a person that you wanted um how you wanted to meet you know when you wanted to meet how you wanted them to be and just daydreaming about it, you know? Um, in the meantime, having thoughts that, oh, it's never gonna happen. You know, it's never gonna become anything. I'm gonna be old and alone forever. So it's one of those, those two things, okay? All right, so let me move on to the, um, the present to see if I can clarify a little bit more. That's just the general energy check to see if, um, you know, the reading is resonating with you. And guys, I'm a very straightforward reader. I, that's just how I am. I shoot straight from the hip and I'm a realistic reader. I read for like real world mundane circumstances. And yes, at times things will pop up that are not mundane and they're esoteric and, you know, or what people call woo woo. But for the most part, I'm a realistic reader and, um, some people might not like that, you know, and they might consider it like kind of dry. You're so dry, you know, or, oh, there's nothing positive here, but I, I'm i pretty neutral. That's the one thing I can say about me is neutral. You can call me that um, because that's how I try to read, to be a very neutral reader, okay? Um, so I'm sorry if I trigger anybody or if what I say isn't the way you want it to come across, but that's just me. That's, that's how it is. And I, I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm saying that to kind of tell you guys about me. So if you're wondering, ever wondering about why I'm like this or why I read like this or why I don't go outside of, you know, and why I'm not, I don't have fluff, I, I don't. I'm sorry. Right, so for your presence, romantic life, Virgo. Let's see. What is happening in Virgo's romantic life currently? Spirit, connect me to my Virgo viewers. Sidereal or tropical, sun, moon, rising signs. What's currently taking place in their romantic life? Please clarify that for me. Okay, what is this? We got the Wheel of Fortune. Yes. And we've got the five of wands. Hmm, that is interesting. Oh, 
All right, let me go ahead and, I was just listening. I'm quite, I'm quiet. I'm just listening for anything that comes into my inner hearing. I'm just listening. Mm. Love the details. Let's see. Okay, so it just looks like somebody you haven't heard from in a while with the Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit is coming back around. Goes around, comes around. Yes, you don't really know this person all that well, but it looks like you will make an effort to kind of get to know this person. Okay, someone's coming back, looking for you, coming to find you. Hmm. Yeah, this looks like someone that left your life. Five of Swords. This is disconnected from your life. I wonder why. Oh, some sad circumstances. Okay, the Five of Coins is typically about meeting someone in a way that is very taboo. For example, getting involved in like uh, an affair or being involved with someone who you can't really be with. Like maybe the family's really strict, you're from two different backgrounds, you know, um, two different races, something like that. But it's some kind of a taboo relationship where it didn't really work out the first time um, and it just, you know, it, it's things happen. It could have been that. It could have been miscommunication. It could have been, you know, um, you weren't sexually compatible. It could have been a lot of things. It could have been money problems, money issues. Anything could have happened to break this relationship relationship up. So it says this person is kind of looking for you again, right? And trying to come back and find you because maybe this time around they're thinking things will be different, Okay. That's, that's what I'm seeing there. Let's see if we can find what'll take place in this relationship. That's okay, we can get some answers here. Huh, I'm just gonna move these because they're blocking my view for the present. And I don't want that, okay. Take a look. Hmm, yeah, it looks like they're gonna make you an offer, Four of Cups, but you're either not gonna pay them any attention or you're not going to want it. Hmm, oops. And then the Ten of Wands says moving on, okay? Yeah, when you start thinking about how hard this was, maybe rehashing this old thing, you're gonna be like, nah, I will pass on you. We're, <laughs> it almost feels like this is an ancient relationship. Like, why are you coming back? We did this so long ago, or we spent so many years doing this and it didn't work out. And you're like, I'm not interested. Or maybe they're coming back around now because they're old and they remember you and you're like, oh, I missed out on a good thing. You know, and you're just gonna be like, no, boy, bye, or girl, bye. I'm not really interested in this right now. So I, I feel like you're just gonna let it go. It, it's almost like, yeah, the wheel of fortune, like let's spin the wheel and see what we can get this time, right? And you're just like, oh no, I'm feeling myself. I am good. I'm happy, I'm loving myself. So these cards say it looks like um, you, you're you gonna pass on that. Pass, pass. I mean, you might go out with them once or twice. I see you do make plans to go out with the person just to talk to them, but I think eventually you're gonna be like, nah. After talking to them again, like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing this again. I'm definitely not rehashing this again. So let's see your future. Love life, okay? saying yeah so this is a reunion a 
do see that with it. It looks like it's an Aries, the person who you reunite with, like an Aries comes back around. Um, and then methodical approach is just an approach you take in the in reassessing that relationship. But I, I kind of feel like, yeah, you're probably gonna pass on it, but let me, let me see. I thought it was gonna tell me about something else, but let's see. Devil. Love. Okay, let's see what this is. I almost feel like this is the same message that I got before. But, um, oops. Wrong way. Yeah, the two of ones is about someone, yeah, coming back around who was from the past, you separated. It's the same, it's telling me the same message and it didn't work out. You were very connected to each other, but the, the relationship was very sexual, a lot of sexual attraction, but it seems like the devil was very toxic as well. Um, but I think the Ace of Cups is saying that when it was offered to you initially, it seemed like it was the most wonderful thing ever, right? And it's nice to have a reunion, but um, it, it is going to be nice to have a reunion with this person. But when you really think about it and get down to it, in the end, I feel like you are going to to kind of pass on it, though. But this reunion card is reminding me of like, oh, we're sitting down, we're talking, you know, we're getting together, we're having fun, we're talking about our families, we're talking about, oh, remember when we were kids, remember when we used to do this, remember when we were together, remember when we, we if we if you grew up together, remember when we were in the neighborhood, remember? I feel like you're talking about that kind of stuff, but to really go any further, oh, let me just clarify one more time, the outcome. Okay. Five of Cups is like sadness. It's the back of the deck energy. Underlying sadness about this relationship. Like wanting... It's almost like remembering the past. Remember we knocked over those three cups? Yeah, but there were two left standing. Yeah, but we knocked over those three cups. Remember that? So it's kind of like that energy of reminiscing. Um, taking a methodical approach to the relationship overall. I mean, I'm not going to lie... It looks like you guys are reminiscing and the energy feels good in terms of remembering the past. Um, and then the outcome is the emperor. The emperor is typically a solid outcome. The king of wands. The king of wands though. Like the emperor is maturity. Okay, so this is this feels like old energy or like you guys are older now and you're more mature. And the King of Wands. Let me let me see that again because I'm not gonna lie to you. This is a little bit confusing to me. It's like you guys have a strong connection to each other, but it almost feels like I don't, I don't know if I want to do this again. It just feels like a reunion. That's really all it feels like. Um, it feels like, yeah, let's go go around our old, you know, stomping grounds again. Maybe we go meet the family again. Let's go do some things we used to do. Um, I think that's really how the ending I'm seeing. I'm not, I'm not really seeing like, um, we're gonna get back together. This is gonna be a marriage. I mean, the cards, Ace of Cups would make me think that. And the Emperor. But then the devil and the four of wands and king of wands, it just kind of looks like a reunion. Like you guys get together again, you make plans to hang out, you know, and the six of cups is definitely saying reunion. We just get together and hang out and talk about old times. So that's all I'm really seeing. Like when you, this person contacts you and they try to come back, um, for whatever reason, if it was romance, you're, you're just having a reunion, but it doesn't look like it. I don't see that far ahead where it looks like you're, it's going anywhere, not to say it can't, but I just feel like, um, like the energy of this, 
doesn't feel like it's going in back in that direction if it was romance, okay? But let me just, I want to check one more thing. Yeah. Yeah, this 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 feels like a um talking about the family, the kids, how mm -hmm. things used to be. That's what it feels like to me, okay? Um reconnecting, talking about the world, talking about different things. Um because I feel like the the way you feel about this person it isn't love and the way they feel about you um they're just wondering, you know, what what things have been like if we'd have stayed together. Was this the right person? Did I let them go? You know, that that kind of thing. Okay. So I just want to be sure. Okay. Um, so let me get some advice for you. That's the Virgo. Some of the things are really topical. Give me some advice, Spirit, my Virgo viewers. All my Virgo viewers. Give me advice. Big, bold vision. All right. So what is that advice? Big, bold vision. Let me see what that is. I need a clarifier. Three of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Honestly, that looks like a change of direction or taking a new path, right? So I honestly feel like the advice that you're being given is to go down a new path, however that resonates with you in romance. So it's almost like try something different, right? Change your direction. So if it's giving you advice about this particular romantic relationship or old, it looks like an old relationship or this particular old romance that's resurfacing or this person that's resurfacing, um, if it is a romance, then it's saying try a new direction, right? Try a new path. But if it's not a romance and it could have been a romance, then there's potential here for this to be the new path. You understand what I'm saying? But it just feels like the energy feels like a reunion. Like, oh, I know this person. Oh, yeah, we had good times together. Oh, let's reminisce about our families, blah, blah, blah. So if this was never a romantic relationship, even though this is a romantic reading, then the new path could be this person. However, if this was a romance, it's saying probably go some do something different, okay? Try a new path and don't try to rehash this again. And that's what I'm seeing for you. So if you enjoyed this reading, Virgo, um, please let me know by leaving a comment below. Hit the notification icon if you want to know when I post another video consider subscribing to the channel. And if you like the way I read, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for stopping by, Virgo. And um, I will see you again, hopefully, next read.